Welcome to the Copper King Mine and Railroad. Today we're going to show some great pictures of them repairing the foundations of the Markham Bridge. And then show a lot of pictures of that famous Markham Bridge. So, stay tuned. Repairing Markham Bridge, we have some wonderful pictures of them working on the support foundations of the famous Markham Bridge. Now the date on these photos tells a story. The date is January 9th, 1945. Now keep that in mind as we go through this story. The bridge was built part of the Bingham and Garfield Railroad. Here is a May 1st, 1911 picture of that construction. Now it was completed in June of 1911. The Markham Bridge was 220 feet high and 640 feet long. What a sight this was to see. Here's some early pictures of them building that bridge. Here's some early photos of that bridge when it was first starting. Even some 1911 pictures of it. Here's one 1912. The bridge crossed over Markham Gulch, and that was named after Markham Peak, high on the mountaintop there. So the gulch worked its way down from that mountain. Here's an early picture of Markham Gulch before the bridge came. Markham Gulch was home of the first schools in the canyon. Look at these great pictures of this early school of the Markham Gulch. Later, it will be the home of the first Bingham High School. You see that large building to the left there. The second floor is where they had the first high school. This 1926 picture is on the back side of the Markham Bridge looking up that gulch. Look how far up that gulch you can see in this picture. An iconic landmark in Markham Gulch was the Emerton Hotel. Here's some pictures of that Emerton Hotel. It stayed around for a long time up in Bingham. Look at this uh, advertisement right here. <laughs> I had to laugh. Two to three dollars a day for a room. The Markham Gulch will be filled with waste material sometime after 1926. So let's look at some of these early photos before the canyon was filled in. We only have a few with dates, so we'll have to guess what year it was. Here's a colorized uh, postcard of that Markham Bridge and Canyon. One way to date some of these pictures is at the south end of the bridge, you can see an aerial tram tower, or you can see tram lines and buckets passing over that gulch. The two tram lines passing this way was Utah Consolidated, and that came down from Highland Boy Mine. That tram ran from 1897 to 1910. Then after 1910, the tram changed directions totally and went west over the mountain to the International Smelter in Twila. Also, there was a tram line from the Yampa mine that went right into this Yampa smelter, and that was down at Frogtown, and that ran from 1908 to 1910. Here's a great picture of that aerial tram tower, Southwest Markham Bridge. Now, it's dated September 4th, 1913. Then there's a few more pictures dated that same day, the September 4th, 1913. Now, this picture is looking the opposite direction into the tunnel. Now you entered this tunnel as soon as you crossed over the bridge. The Markham Bridge was a high mountain photogenic scene, so we have many pictures. So just keep looking at these pictures of that Markham Bridge. Now look at this picture. The Markham Bridge is top left in the background, and the small trussel is center of the picture. That's part of the Denver Rio Grande Copper Belt Railroad, and that went over to the Yampa Smelter. Now this trussel was built in 1903. The smelter was shut down in 1910. So the Salt Lake County condemned this trussel and removed it April 1915. The next three pictures, we have passengers' trains crossing over that bridge. The Bingham and Garfield line had passenger service from 1911 
until 1921. Here's a pass for that being in the Garfield Railway. Then just some more pictures of that, Markham Bridge. This one was taken in 1924. Then this other next, this next one was taken in 1925. Look at this grand picture. Look at the steam coming off that engine. Then <laughs> it looks like it's going to disappear right into the mountainside. Then we move up to the year 1926. We have a number of photos for this year. This is because they have some kind of right away litigation going on with the road going up Markham Galt. That will be an upcoming video and we talk about that. Not long after that right away was settled, this is when they started filling in that gulch with waste rock. These two pictures are interesting. Note the mine dumps in the second picture compared to the first. You can see the waste rock is heading for Markham Gulch. The first picture is labeled Bingham Carfork Steam Era Shipper. Now this is from the Salt Lake Tribune collection. The second picture, you can see clearly that waste material is working its way towards Markham Gulch. It's labeled Bingham Aerial, April 1st, 1935. And that's from the Aerograph Company Salt Lake Tribune. But looking at the mine in this dated 1926 picture makes the year on that picture more like 1926. I wish I had a good dated picture of when they really started filling in that mark and gulch. But I think it was sometime between 1926 and 1930. And that fill came from the D-dump line. This panoramic view shows Markham almost filled in. Note that waste train high on the top of that higher dump. Then we have some interesting shots around Markham Bridge, taken August 11th, 1930. There's quite a few of these too. They're showing a lot at the base of the bridge right there. And then look at this one, the tunnel portal. Isn't that a grand picture? Most of the next pictures we have, we see that the Markham Gulch is filled in. Well, to the bridge anyway. On the other side, they had a few homes and businesses. Canyon Motor was right on the corner of that main street of Markham Gulch. So you can see the homes up here in this gulch. And like I said, the Emerton Hotel was up in there. It changed its look a lot over the years though. Here's a couple of pictures dated 1931. Now they've caught the train just crossing over that Markham Bridge. Here's a close of that bridge. This bridge can also be called a viaduct. A viaduct is a type of bridge that consists of a series of piers and columns supporting the long elevated railway. Then just some more pictures of that Markham Bridge. Some of these pictures do have dates and I think that's really interesting to see the dates on some of these pictures. 1937 on these two pictures. Then this big panoramic view right here is September 1938. Here's another one about that same time, 1938. And we have some pictures dated 1940. This is a great panoramic view of that bridge. This March 1940 panoramic view show that they're drawing out some new dump space right there in the corner. August 22nd, 1941 shows the east side of the mountain. And then in the next photo, you can see the bridge to the left. They're mostly showing the mountain though. And then this August 12th, 1941 shows the whole bridge. Then this panoramic view was shot on the same day. September 1st, 1941, you're looking down into the gulch and you can see some of the houses down there. Now the Library of Congress has some 1942 pictures. Now most of these were taken across the canyon. Now this was during World War II 
when the mine and mill was making production records, 35,375,000 tons a year. This 16-mile standard gauge railroad or haulage line between Bingham Mine and the Magna Mills, when the mine was producing at full capacity, set records of the highest traffic density of any railroad in the world. Or trains with 90 to 100 ton cars running up to 90 cars working day and night. We need to go back to the beginning pictures. No wonder why the support footings had to be reinforced. This bridge was taking a beating. This is where the dates of the pictures are important. January 9, 1945. <laughs> but by this time, most of the ore in the mine was traveling downhill through the 6040 tunnel to meet up with the Cross Canyon connection or the CC line. Now this met up with the old Bingham and Garfield line at the mouth of the canyon, so they bypassed these bridges altogether. That CC line started in 1943. We actually have a video on the CC line if you want to go back and check that out. This wonderful June 19, 1943 panoramic photo shows both lines working. The higher train to the left is the old B&G route across the bridge. Now that was bringing empties back into the mine, while the new CC line running down the middle of the picture was running the ore out. Note the steep switchbacks coming down the south side of the canyon. This came down from the 6040 tunnel exit portal. This CC line was almost built in vain, since they will be constructing, in 1946, a totally different route to the mills. That would be the Copperton Low Line. It will be completed in 1948. Here's a photo of the first train coming May 12, 1948 on that Copperton Low Line. Now they will continue using Markham Bridge, but mostly for waste material. And that would be servicing the A dump line, and that ended in Carfort Canyon. So let's look at a few more pictures of this uh, famous Markham Bridge. This is a wonderful color picture from the Don Strack collection, that Markham Bridge there at the bottom right, looking across the bridge as it leads into that tunnel. Then the same view over the top of some ore loads. Then one more, and that was an earlier picture of that same viewpoint. This view is when the canyon still had life. The bridge is to the right, and below is the little town of Bingham, booming. This shot taken from above B&G Yard. Notice the canyon and the gulch floor. Everything is about gone. Then a few pictures over the years. The gulch is almost void of houses. Now this is how it looked July 22nd, 1965. Here is a Michael and Strogan picture taken 1973. Then we have a couple of pictures taken by Brent Peterson. Well, the Markham Bridge was demolished September 1981. We have some great pictures taken by Cheryl Strogan when that Markham Bridge was being raised. Now, Don Strack shows a picture of what that area looked like in 1996. It's just all filled in right there. So you can see why I had to build this Markham Bridge on my layout, the Copper King Mine. The repairs on the bridge was completed, but the bridge was only used for a few more years and that was for moving waste trains only. We will leave with these series of pictures leading up to the kids looking down on that magnificent Markham Bridge. Oh, how I want to be one of those kids and experience the sights, the sounds, and the smells of that time.